Today is February 23rd, maybe. I'll put up the date. And I'm still not getting it done. And, you know, I swam. I'm doing, I'm doing the things that I want to do when I want to do them. And frankly, that's not good enough. So, and I'm not, this is not a shame and blame video, right? I, I, I'm getting to the point where I understand that that I can't, I can't blame myself and shame myself and, and with regret. I'm okay. I know what I was doing yesterday when I ate a granola bar, which I had no business eating, just because I was at a co-working space and they were quote unquote free. Free food is never free. Remember that. Free food is never free. You go to, I have an event tonight, for example. <clears throat> free food, probably cakes, desserts, open bar. I don't drink alcohol, as you know, so no, why when I go to a free event is, and it has open bar, I don't give two thoughts to the open bar. That didn't cross my mind. Never gonna have one. <clears throat> but I'm like, Ooh, are those little cake bites? And I think about it. And that's what I wanna talk about. When you have one bite off plan, one bite off plan, I don't care what the plan is. You wanna have fruit, you wanna have dairy, you don't wanna have dairy, you're 100% carnivore, you drink coffee, whatever. But if you make the plan and tell yourself, this is my plan, and that's based on good data, meaning that you have, you have done the hard work of, of eating things, eliminating things, and you're like, you know what, I'm pretty committed. Or maybe you haven't done all of the work, but you're like, you know, I'm seeing this happen for someone, and this is the path I'm gonna take. This is the path I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go carnivore for six months, or I'm going to eliminate all carbohydrates. <clears throat> Whatever the case may be. What I'm talking about is the difference between a moderator and an abstainer. And uh, I have not validated this myself, what I'm about to say, but what I hear is that you are either have a moderating personality, and I know a few of those people who can do this, both with alcohol and food in their life, and it doesn't trigger them into binges and, and, and going down uh, a bad path. However, there are others and I think I fall in this camp where I'm a lot happier once I make the decision, I'm not gonna eat this food. One bite being the problem, meaning that once I have that bite, there's that little thing in my head that says, oh, you know, you can't handle not being on a strict plan like that. That's too restrictive. You should be able to, you can manage all the, who are you gonna let? You're gonna let these people tell you what you can and can't eat, blah, blah, blah. And when I have one bite of a granola bar, then I'm like, then the voice changes and says, ah, See, you've already kind of fucked up. Let's start tomorrow. Don't worry about it. Go ahead and finish the bar. You know, as a matter of fact, there's a second one there. Well, why? Why? since we're going to start tomorrow and be good tomorrow, look, there's those chocolate cakes right there. Why don't we try one of those since we have never had one of those? We're curious what those taste like. And you're and, and off you go. And it might not be a full bender. So so the second phase is you catch yourself sooner and you, and you stop yourself. But <clears throat> there's a secondary cause that once you, once you break... Once you break mentally uh, and allow yourself to have that one bite off your plan, then you're doing damage. You're, you're not you're not you're not living with integrity or according to your values. And I think there's there's something that's doing some harm internally. So um, so my my resolution is <clears throat> if you're not ready to do it, then don't tell yourself that you're going to do it. And if you are going to do it. Um, you got to make sure in your mind that that you you practice what they call in in my sobriety community and alcohol free community is practicing sobriety practicing abstinence i'm going to practice not eating fruit for the next 30 days but when you if you do break you got to make notes you got to think about it and you got to learn learn why you did it uh, and usually either you listen to something in your head or you told yourself, you know what, fuck it, I don't care, I'm gonna eat that. No one can tell me what to do. Those are generally the two things. Or number three is you have that treat mindset of like, hey, I've been so good for this week, won't I treat myself to this piece of fruit? And I always think about uh, a heroin addict uh, or some kind of other drug addict, as, as horrible as that is and as painful as that is, would you tell them, hey, you've done so good. You haven't you haven't done anything with that drug for a month. Let's celebrate. Won't you have a couple of a uh, couple of hits? Why don't we get high? It's like, 
No, that's not the answer. That's not the, but we do that with food. We're like, you've been so good. You could have that cookie. I don't know who the fuck came up with that message for us, but it's not the answer. The answer is keep the momentum, keep the momentum, keep the momentum. So <clears throat> I told myself January 1, just like probably a million other people, I'm, I'm ready to get this done. Matter of fact, I started a few days before and I've been stumbling and skinning my knees and basically my weight is, is about the same. I'll put up a chart, up and down, up and down a couple pounds. And in the grand scheme of things, the scale is not that helpful at this point because it's, it's, it's like if I'm playing the mindset with the scale, meaning that, oh, you can kind of manipulate that with how much water and, oh, I'm not going to eat this. I'm going to eat a little later. But overall, you know, you're not really doing what you need to do to get the scale to move in a big, in a big way. Meaning that when you have 50, 60 to a hundred pounds to lose, you have to be compliant with the plan, compliant with the plan, get the momentum and get it going. I'm, I'm just rambling here, but I'm trying to capture, I'm trying to figure out how I can document this and, and be of value for people as the process is going. And so <clears throat> that's what I've got today in my mind. And, uh, your encouragement would be welcome down below. Uh, and I still got a workout to do. Uh, maybe I'll put some of that and, and I'm going to do some jump rope, um, high activity and, uh, and I'm going to fast today. I think, uh, I've got nothing going on. I've got this little event tonight that I don't want to really eat at. And, and, uh, you could make the argument of like, Oh, uh, eat before you go. So you won't be hungry. That's a, that's a, that's a potential one. I've done that before, but then if I'm triggered anyway, I, I might eat and it's better where I'm like, no, I'm not eating like like it's a lot clearer in my mind in in the danger zone to say you're not putting one bite of food in your mouth there's nothing there that's going to be that amazing there's just not and and you know what I'll wake up tomorrow and it'll be a new day and uh and I can have an I can have my sardines with my avocado and feel good about myself <clears throat>